the Van Show, and today we're at the Other Worlds Film Festival, and I met some new friends. Hey, tell us your names. I'm Dane Elkar. And I am Max Wertendike. So nice to meet you, Van. It's nice, nice to, to meet you, me. too. Now, yeah, it's great to be here. Oh, are you kidding me? It's really nice to have you here. <laughs> You're an actor now. How long ago were you like, I want to be an actor? Like. Like, like, when in your life was that a pivotal moment where you're like, bing? Sure. So I think when I was um, maybe around, like, 10 and 11, I really wanted to be an Olympic swimmer. That's what I really wanted to be. And then I hit 12, and I had to start racing against 13 and 14-year-olds, and I stopped winning so much. And, um, you know, when that happened, I started looking for some things too. And my sister was actually taking a class at a place called Lee Strasberg. And I went to go see her end of semester performance. And she was great, by the way. Um, and I thought, this looks really fun. And so afterwards, I went to the office and said, hey, can I do like a work study and, you know, work in the office in exchange for free classes? And they told me yes. And that was an amazing thing. And um, I can also say, you know, my dad was in the theater, both my parents. My mom was a dancer. My father was a man of the theater, a director, a writer, and a set designer. And so I kind of grew up with that in my blood. But what's amazing about being an actor is um, you can be celebrated for saying and doing things that in real life might get you into trouble. Ah. So if you can feel stuff and act on it in a way that, um, you know, we have to try to figure out how to, how to control in real life because we got to be in the world. But on the stage or on film, you get to explore what it might be. You can express that. Yeah, and it's, it's, and, and it's a beautiful. When you see someone else do it, yeah. you got to say, oh man, someone understands how I feel. And that's a really yeah. amazing feeling. Or, or somebody is doing the thing that I know I can't do, but I really want to do. Like, like, man, I know that I can't just go out and like, you know, like do this mean thing to somebody who was mean to me. But the guy on TV did it, and boy, did it feel good to watch him do that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Explore all sorts of different types of uh, emotions and and work through them. And actors get to kind of explore that side. And well, and now and now you have a different role in in film. You, you are a writer-director, is that that's right? That's right. I wrote and directed Brightwood that's screening here today. Or tomorrow, sorry, it's Sunday. Oh, no, you're right. Now, can you talk us to us a little bit about now, I mean, you, 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 you express yourself as an actor. You express yourself as a writer-director. Can you talk a little bit about what drew draw you? Yeah, what drew well, you it's that? you know what? It's a lot like being an actor. You get to dive into different um, psyches, and you get to explore worlds, and you get to create those worlds, and you get to... Um, navigate through different storylines and plots. You just get to do it by yourself. You don't have to do it with other people. <laughs> oh. I think is so exciting, you know, is when you get a writer and a director and an actor and you get a producer and you get these people together into a room and everyone's got their own ideas and you figure out how to create a story together. And I've always found, and I think you'd agree, Dane, that, you know, a story, each person brings their own experience to it and it makes the story kind of bigger and better. Right, I would say this, as, as a writer, what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating, a spe with this format anyway, I'm uh, creating a base. It's, it's a, a, a blueprint in some way so that uh, people can come on and collaborate and then everyone brings their own talents and their own uh, abilities and intelligences and we build up from there to make uh, the art that we're creating together as a team. So let's talk about the film that you brought here today, Brightwood. Yes, Brightwood. Brightwood is a, um, it's a story about a couple uh, that go out on a jog and uh, suddenly then mysteriously they cannot find their way out. Uh, they're jogging around this pond and whichever direction they go, they can't seem to find their way out. And in this kind of nightmare scenario, uh, we're able to really kind of explore this relationship. And it gets uh, kind of darker and darker as it progresses. You, you haven't screened the film yet here? No, this is our first time in front of a live audience. This is our first time in a big theater, and it'll be projected and 5.1 sound, and we're thrilled. Oh, oh my goodness, and I'm so excited for you. And not a little nervous, and well, we'll get through it. Are you there tomorrow? Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, well, you definitely can watch. You, you need to come see it. Well, and, and you know what? If I don't see you there, I'm going to be very sad. What I'm really excited for you guys is you get to have the experience so you've already put your emotions and your time and your effort into this thing, and now you get to have the experience of watching people receive your emotions and then emote back oh. upon those emotions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's incredible. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. It's going to be great. <laughs> I'm so excited no, yes, for you. No, I, it's, it's thrilling. It really is thrilling. You do a, all of this work. You 
collaborate, you write, you act, you do a, a edit, and then you reach this point. And this is where the film kind of becomes itself, you know, its own thing. And I can kind of just watch how people react to it. That's so great. This is one of these cool things about film is that, you know, you start the process a year and a half before anyone sees it. You know, so it's been held in this little tiny vault growing and continue to develop and now is, is in fact the first time that it really gets to be able to um, get an audience and we get that final integral part of an art watching experience which is to have other people respond to it yes yeah, it well doesn't exist without everybody out there goodbye Fashion!